Hey everyone, I'm Toby and today we'll quickly learn how to track set extensions into your backgrounds in After Effects. Before we begin, please initiate by subscribing to the channel, that would really help me out. So here we have a shot of my sister and it's only a short shot but I felt like the background was too boring and I wanted to add something to help build the world that she's supposed to be in during this short sequence. So luckily the sky was extremely cloudy when we filmed which meant the After Effects had an easier time um, when I was playing around with it. Uh, you'll see what that means later on. So after filming the shot, I brought everything into After Effects and this is where we're going to do our magic today. First of all, obviously open your shot into the timeline and import the either the image or the video file that you want to be in the background of the scene. Uh, I've just got this image from Google. I think I just Googled Sci-Fi City or something. So this is what I'm using today. Firstly, we need to track the scene. As the shot won't be messed up from any sort of parallax, seeing as we're going to be putting our image as far back as possible, we can just use the 2D motion tracker. So no real need to get involved with the 3D tracker today, which is good. This effect isn't actually as tricky as you may think it is. Okay, so now in the motion tracking tab, it's important to use the motion tracker with both position and rotation selected, as our physical camera is obviously rotating in the scene as well as moving. So we're gonna find some objects in the background to track. Um, the scene was actually quite difficult as it was mainly trees in the background, which didn't provide much in the way of solid contrast points. Um, you know, if there were buildings, it might've been easier, but I still managed to get the track done with a little bit of experimenting between track points. So just have a play around if you find it's not working um, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. So it's very important uh, for rotation and position to make sure that the two track points are kind of as far as far on each side of the screen as possible. That way After Effects has more to work with and will act more accurately create the rotation for the camera. Now after all we have to do is hit analyze and we'll let After Effects do its thing. So we're gonna create a null object as well. And then we'll apply the data to our null object. Next, we're gonna parent our background layer to the null object and roughly position it in the scene where we kind of want it to be. Okay, so our layer is correctly moving with the background now, that's good. You can see it rotates and moves uh, the same as the actual camera is, which is cool. But we obviously want the layer to be behind um, the actor, the wall and the trees. Obviously, it's covering everything right now. So this is where the sky comes in handy. So we're going to duplicate the plate shot and put it above the background layer. And we're going to use the curves adjustment as well as saturation to make our image black and white. And we're going to increase the contrast pretty much as much as possible. So it's extreme white and extreme black values. On the background layer, we're going to, under the track matte setting, select Luma Matte. Now what this will do is essentially use the black and white values from the layer above as a mask, with black being the mask and the white being what is revealed. As we can see now, the sky is removed and replaced with the background layer, whilst everything else remains where it is. Obviously, do some tweaking with the color to get rid of any fringing. Uh, you know, I've got some here, but uh, in Premiere, I then went and added some color correction to kind of fix that a little bit, but just play around with it as much as you can. Uh, I've also added some color correction and camera blur to further integrate the background layer with my footage and make it like it's out of focus as if it was actually being filmed with the camera. And that's it guys, if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy straight to the point tutorials. Please feel free to leave suggestions for tutorials down in the comments as well. And that's it from me, so I'll see you next time on Robot Boy. Thank <laughs> you.